what's going on everybody thank you for clicking the link I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to install Xbox one smart glass and how it's used on the Xbox one so what you want to do you want to go to the Play Store when you go to the Play Store um, you could type in Xbox smart glass or Xbox one smart glass all right, so as you can see, it comes up right there. Click that. Now you want to install it. I already have it installed, so that's why it says open and uninstall. So I'll go ahead and open it. Once it is installed, you have to connect the Xbox One to your Xbox One smart glass. So, um, you want to go ahead and hit connect and then it's going to try to search for your Xbox One and if it doesn't find it, it's going to ask to enter the IP address of the of the uh, Xbox One. Now you can enter the IP address of the, of the Xbox One right here and it tells you exactly how to go about getting the IP address so you go into the Xbox one settings then network then advanced settings so that's how you pretty much find it and it's pretty much self-explanatory put your IP address here and it'll find it for you so let's go back I have it for Dead Rising 3, so that's why you see that there. So um, usually when I have it connected, it will show um, companion instead of instead of where details is at, it'll show companion instead. So um, I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. So when you connect the smart glass, you wanna hit the connect symbol with the little, the little antennas on top. It already detected mine, so I'm going to hit that, and should be okay. Okay, it just now connected just now. So now it's connected. Down here at the bottom, you're going to see the volume. This controls the volume of your TV. So it actually, you can control up and down the volume of your TV. So right now, my TV is going up and down in volume. All right. This here is the remote control. It actually remote controls, it guides, it actually moves the screen depending on where my hand's at. And then if I hit the back button, it'll go back on the screen. So that's what it will do on the screen. All right, so that is that. All right. So, you got your Xbox button, then you have your little share button there, so. It's pretty much a controller, but just on the thing. So that's the little smart glass part. So it says now that I'm playing Dead Rising, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start playing Dead Rising. So I'm gonna go ahead and play on Xbox One. I'm gonna go ahead and play Dead Rising. So now it should start up. <clears throat> All right, now, so this is the main screen of um, Dead, Dead Rising 3. You know, this is the main screen. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, once it tells us, it's gonna let us hit the home button <clears throat> in a minute here. It's just waiting for my Xbox One to gear up. If it's if you can't see it, it says Xbox Smart Glass Companion for Dead Rising 3 is currently unavailable. You will get a message in the game when your companion is available to use. All right, so now it lets me know that my Dead Rising is paused for a little bit and then it went straight into press home button to start. So it makes a little noise every time. You can listen to calls you can listen to like it just gives you extra features and stuff like that <clears throat> now mind you you can do most of this with the connect but um it's just cool just to mess with these settings it gives you a little bit more detail and what you might not know now i didn't know you could text on here i don't really know what this is for yet 
um, but just keep that in mind. You got your to do. It you can switch your missions on the fly. All right, you can switch your missions on the fly. Um, so that's that. You got your map. When you choose which map you want, it tells you the destination and it tells where you are at. So that's where I'm at. That's my destination. So it will go, it will follow me all the way till I get to my destination. And it's pretty helpful because when I put it on my lap, it pretty much uh, guides the way and help me, you know, to my missions or whatnot. Um, Yes, it deters you from the screen, and yeah, you know, you gotta look, always look down and stuff like that, but it helps in its own way. I know it's like out of the way or whatever, but just showing off the little cool stuff you can do. Alright, you've got your settings here. You can change the ringtone of the phone. You can change the wallpaper if you want. Then hit the check mark. Um, you can also call for backup. You can do this on the, um, you can save this on Xbox One Connect if you want. You could just say call for backup and another person will come. You got different stuff. You can find a store, find gun shops, and they'll show you where. So it's pretty cool where you can find a gun shop near the area or whatever. So, um, it's pretty neat. Then, uh, you got your news, find item, it's your news, tells you little hints, pretty cool. And also, you can listen to your messages if you don't answer phone calls in the game. You did it already. Wow, I bet you sat in the front row at school, huh? Okay, uh, sending a code. Try it on that ZDC box by that garage. So, he just said he's sending a code to me. So, let me see if I have the code. So, look, he sent me a code. It says access code zero. So I guess when I get there, I guess I just put this in. I'm not sure how it fully works yet, but uh, we'll find out. But that's pretty much how it's it works, you know. So I just wanted you guys to get a gist of how it works and how it syncs in with the Xbox One. But that's pretty much they call this the companion pretty much so the companion helps you out and if you have somebody next to you playing with you they could you know help you out tell you where to go stuff like that with your phone um i don't know if you need like jelly bean or higher for you to for you to use the smartphone's ability the smart glass so um that being said you know i think you have to have a, a uh, upgraded phone um, higher than I believe Jelly Bean in order for you to have access to this. I don't know how it is on the iOS, the Apple version, so I'm not sure. But other than that, that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the Xbox One Smart Glass Companion, they call it. All right, so till next time, guys, catch you at another tutorial. Peace.